It's the second season of AK Blade, and we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. For the 50th episode, I like keeping track, because once we reach the 52nd, it will be one year officially since we started AK Blade. I think we should take a bow. No, we'll just flip our shirts. Somebody's a little moved. I mean, he might need a minute. No, I don't need a minute. I'm good. And to bring in the new year and a new season, we're going to be talking about the top, best, most popular, impressive yes. knives of 2019. It seems like only yesterday, doesn't it? We should go crazy with prices. I'm sorry. I just came to mind. We know you are super excited, too, to see what we've picked. And I'm sure those that have watched past episode know which ones made the list because of moi. Hmm. Let's just get those over with. Hey, these are knives you don't just get over with, okay? These are the best two knives Atlantic Knife has to offer. That's your personality. And they opinion. are the Best Tech Malware and the BRS Fragment. Hmm. Ready? Yeah. Most of these knives we choose for this, we've actually uh, done at some point during the year. Some of but them, yeah. we do so many knives. Who wouldn't need a refresher? I love these knives. You know, I, I did notice that, yeah, I know that you do, that we do do so many, and mm -hmm. there's so many that come out that really good knives kind of get left behind quickly. And like the shelf knife, like, oh, it's a fanga, it's awesome. And a month later, like, the fangas just disappeared. Fanga? Who's ever heard and of And we then moved on to, like, 27 other knives. It's awful quick. And I didn't move on. These have been my some favorite. Some really nice knives. Okay, let's do it. I mean, I did, I did love the CH one with the jade handle, and then the Stedman with the jade and the carbon fiber, but these... Do you want me to do the specs on no, them? Or do no, you want them? I'll do specs. All right, you. go ahead. Do your thing. Okay, first is the malware. This frame lock comes with either a black wash blade or a satin finish one. I have a satin finish one. Um, with either a titanium handle or a carbon fiber one. The blade itself is made of S35VN stainless steel. It's got extended tang, uh, a thumb pull right there, or uh, you can use the flipper stud. It's got jimping on it, so lots of jimping there. A pocket clip and comes with a nylon zippered storage case and cleaning cloth, which I'm not going to show you. You know what? Yes, I am. We all knew I was going to show you. <gasps> Look, there it is. Wow. That's yeah, great. I know. It's amazing. Hold on to your lug nuts because it gets better. Yeah. The BRS Fragment Frame Lock also comes in titanium and or carbon fiber. It's a mixture of both materials on my version. The carbon fiber being the inlay. It too has an S35VN stainless blade, but a Warncliffe style instead. It's 5.75 inches overall. This one's got the black PVD coated blade. There's another one that's got the plain stone wash. It's also got a lanyard hole, a pot to clip, and comes with a padded, yes, a padded black zippered storage case. Look, you can see where I sat it. Yep. And of course, it's got the hexagonal front flipper tab, which is one of my favorite aspects of this knife. But before we do that, ringing in the new year by bringing the notification bell. Ring in the notification bell. That way. Bell. You'll be notified when we post new content. While you're at it, you could also press those like, share, subscribe, and comment buttons. Share. Because you care. Mm -hmm. There's people that you know that we don't know yet. We want to know them. Wow. So you can enter our current giveaway, which is most important. So we got one here on YouTube. It's the Steelwell Modus. Here, here. So like, share, subscribe on here or the last episode or... Trivia question. The one before that, right? We did, we're did. we doing three weeks. I have no clue where we're at. We're at three weeks. All yeah, I so know it's is we're going to wrap this up next week. Yeah. So, also, he'll do the... Because we got more giveaways. The Lanning Knife blog A trivia. lot more giveaways. Giveaways are coming. Prepare yourself. This is this is the proponent. Yeah. We're giving it away Carbon still. Carbon fiber handle. What? It's on the Atlantic Knife blog. You can find that Trivia on our web page, which is at the very bottom of the home page. Mm -hmm. The question will be there. Yep, yeah, just answer. Give it an question. answer. Yeah. You're entered to win. It's that simple. So comment, like, share, subscribe. That way we can keep with the pretenses that this show is actually being watched and enjoyed by our AK reviewers. Hey. We have over, I don't know, 1,300 viewers by now. 
That means the show Look. is being watched. It's my New Year's resolution to have the AK Blade Show have more comments and more subscribers. I am aiming for a new number. Please tell me that's not something completely ridiculous like One a million, million subscribers. subscribers. Of course. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Let me guess. Or Bye, February. Honestly, guys, I'm not crazy. I was hoping more along the lines of maybe like 5,000 subscribers. That sounds a little more realistic. By the end of February, about, maybe, you know, March. That would be great. It would be. That, that'd be great. Mm. I'm going to need you to work great on Great way Sunday. to start the year off in my <laughs> paycheck. Okay, back to the nights. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. You get paid more if we get more subscribers? You guys are getting paid? No, no, no. I get paid a set salary as set forth by my Atlanta Knife employee contract. That's all I can say about that. However, the next knife that made the top best knives of 2019 is the top street scalpel and the rapid strike. <laughs> no, just the street scalpel. I too. did not agree to that formal protest. Look, we decided that the more popular knife of the two would make the list. It's more compact and it's easier to see someone use it. Okay, informal protest. When life gives you lemons, Shul, you don't let Jewel handle them. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> the top street the scaffold, scaffold tool is 7 inches overall mm -hmm. with a 3 inch black traction coated 1095 HC mm -hmm. steel blade with chipping. Mm -hmm. And full extended tang, of course. It's also got a black canvas micarta handle, a lanyard. Oh, and lanyard. So. And a black kydex belt sheet. It's also got the orange liners like my mm -hmm. Rapid Strike. Luckily for everyone here, besides the diehard fans of the Rapid Strike, the knife was designed by Leo Espinoza and comes with a top survival whistle, which I will now play in honor of my fallen hero, the Rapid Strike and its fans. Oh, please don't. I feel like I should have other employees entering from behind me, each playing a top survival whistle. Oh, I don't think Just that would make slowly. this any more pleasant. Well, well, you know what? Luckily for you, they didn't accept my bribe of a package of snowballs that they could split five ways. <laughs> so. How could they pass up the prospect of splitting two green marshmallow coconut hey, balls? Hey, those are glow balls for <laughs> Halloween. Pink ones are snowballs. Uh, I thought they had uh, orange ones. What a junk food blunder. I apologize. Mm -hmm, you should. Anyways... The next knife, like glow balls, also comes in green, and it's the Artisan Proponent. You mean this one? Well, that it, we're giving it, it away. It comes in green, but we'll be using this one, yeah. All right. Great. You Thanks. take my knife. Yes, I am. Nine inches overall, with a four-inch, yes, modified Tonto blade with jimping. jimping. Large jimping here, people. It's also got the pocket clip, the thumb stud, and flipper. Ceramic ball bearing for smooth opening. There's many versions of this knife, as you guys know. There are different blade steels. The D2, which this one's the D2. And there's also the S35VN. Different handle materials. G10. And they got the G10 in green and blue or, or gray. Looks like that in black. Yes. Titanium and the carbon fiber. And for the first time, mm -hmm. the G10 gray one mm -hmm. is more popular than the black one. What? I know. Beats me. It looks more like blue when you it. sells see it. out we, all the we've time. We've got the picture showing you guys of you all You know what's of them. funny? When you say it looks like blue, it looks like that Kaiser I used to have, the big one, yeah. that did not sell that well. And it was the same size. It didn't have that nice blade, but I really liked that knife. Okay. Of course, the higher quality of the materials, the more the price. I mean, however, we still have a large number of lower priced ones mm -hmm. with the, the G10, G10 handle. Only 68.55 on lantknife.com. I, uh, I have to tell you six. that the boss man uh, telepathically reached me mm -hmm. in the past and in the future to tell me that we didn't flip the Atlantic knife sign. Enough. Yes, we did. One one week we did like 17. Yeah, times. back then. But he said over our last two, we've been really. <sighs> Thank you. Yeah. For he said However, he paid for you to go to Disney World and Universal and. Man, he, he asked me, do you want to go next year? And I said, you know what I said? Okay, okay. Stop. <laughs> put That's, the okay. sign fine, fine. down. You put the bucket down. All right. Oh, look. However, hey. if you like the high quality stuff, you'd only have to flesh out like 187, 33 to 212. I just found some of that Christmas biscotti from last it's week. It's sitting there. That's 
gross. That's awesome. For the S35VN and the titanium handle ones, and you won't even have to meet us in a back alley to do it, okay? We will send it to you first class for free. Free shipping. Well. What the heck are you looking for? I was looking for some milk. I thought maybe it'd be hidden and I could go with my biscotti, but okay. Uh -huh, yeah. The next knife is the Bradford Guardian 3. Now look, we could have tossed any of the new Bradfords up here because they are nice. Fixed blade knives. Fits pretty well. Mm -hmm. and, this one, just and a quick look. they got put on the list because high quality, mm -hmm. very popular, made in the USA. Mm -hmm. These are under a hundred bucks. Like, like Bruce now we know there's a company that makes USA blades, mm -hmm. Bark River, but they're a little more expensive. Nice knives, don't get me wrong, but the Bradfords. I mean, under a hundred bucks. What can I tell you? Okay. This one is 6.75 inches overall with a three and a half inch stone wash finished AEB L stainless blade. It's got a black sculpted G10 handle, mm -hmm. but there are many versions, of course, this knife and that we uh, couldn't put so them all on the screen. Put them on the screen. There's just so many. You pop them on the screen right now? No, I'm not. I'm pretty sure the editor's not too. I'm not kidding. There's like tons of them. You'll just have to go to Atlanta to see them all. Links in the description below. We don't even have them all. Probably not. There's about eight or ten more that I haven't bought yet. <laughs> but by now, I may have. I don't uh, know. By now. All right. It also has a full extended tang, lanyard hull, false edge grind, and comes with a brown leather belt sheath, which Jewel will now awkwardly oh, smell. It does. It smells really good. You know what? You've got your poison and I've got mine. Two so weeks in a row. So just be quiet. Okay? Our next knife is the Wii Double Helix. Wait a minute, you didn't tell us? Yes, you ruined it earlier, so just move it's on. It's not ruined. It is ruined. It's never ruined. It is ruined, just move on. Oh, man. And Are no, you for real? we will not be putting in a double rainbow reference because the double helix. That fad was one of the worst in our nation's history and I will not be perpetuating it. So, obviously tell who wanted this one on the top here. I love this knife. Much like the SOG there. Ah. But you know right. what? I would still. Go, I know it's gonna sound. Don't terrible. you dare say it. I would go terminus <gasps> over that. Oh my God, so I like the button. You did not make up because you just put a land knife up there six times, and the boss is like, "No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, it's not. It's too late. You can't make up for it." Anyways, this folder is 0 0.01 over eight inches overall, with a 3.38 inch stone washed finish CPM S35 VN stainless blade. Yes. I got all that in there. The handle is tumbled finish 6A4V titanium. And like most knives on the table this week, it too comes in other versions. Now this knife was not made in the USA. Unlike Bruce Springsteen. There you go. Long so right there crazy. are the ones with the two-tone blades and different handle colors like silver, bronze, this blue, of course. Blue. Yeah. Well, there it is. It comes with a black nylon zippered storage case and opens like he showed you already but no 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 the the knife you can't do Man. it don't, don't, don't. There, you go. there you go there you go i got it it's hard to hold that back at the same time and i have a big cut on my finger from the you can't lift it can tape you gun. what you can't lift the hammer oh i get what you're going uh -huh. I get what you're laying down. Oh, do you? Okay. Mm. Super rad there. Ooh. There's also, I'm going to show you guys again, the barrel spacer here. A blade fuller. Um, Jimping. What? Yes. Uh, a pocket clip. And, though we didn't show you, the a infamous cleaning and cloth. always necessary. Look, oh, look at that. That's like prominent logo advertising right there, buddy. This is probably one of the most unique knives on the table. Mm -hmm. I mean, we did a very nice job on this one. It actually has a patent we, lock type. Not us, but we did. Called a slide lock. It was designed by Wee Knife Team and weighs just under five ounces. I mean, I do like this one. I'm just going to breeze past the most unique knife on the table comment. I think if you're going to have a kind of a cool, weird knife to add to your collection, this would be the one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Everyone has that one knife that's just a bit different than the others. Like it's super huge, like the XL Cold Steel Espada. Yes, that's one of the honorable mentions since it was released this year too. And it's super awesome. It, it just didn't have enough time to do it all, along with like the Cold Steel Wild West Bowie mm -hmm. and the Chaos, Chaos Bowie. Bowie. Yeah. Not to mention, 
This one? It is extremely durable. Mm -hmm. Has a high quality materials. Yeah. And for only $285 on... Wow, landknife.com. You can get one yeah. for your collection. You know what? I'm thinking about it. This would make a great gift for anyone, especially for like, I don't know, uh, a female employee at a knife company that is supremely hilarious, works hard, and would really want this knife for her collection. Who wow, you really be? care about Wendy? It's pretty awesome of you. But I know what you're doing. You know what you're doing? You're quacking your own ducking can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not very uh, New Year's resolution-y of you. Well, it's not happening. Figured as much. I tried. Mm -hmm. Next knife is the CRKT CEO Liner Lock. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. I did it. Yeah. Nice little knife. I know it is. Now we're going to do some. Go ahead. All right. I'll do this one if you don't mind. This carry is seven and a half inches overall mm -hmm. with a satin finish, 8CR13 mauve steel blade that mm -hmm. operates on a IKBS ball bearing pivot system. Mm -hmm. There's a pocket clip for on-the-go carry because gentlemen don't use lanyard holes. A <laughs> thumb wow. stud for blade deployment. And finally, black GRN handle. Wow. Uh, the slimline carry was designed by Richard Rogers, and he knew the power of alliteration. Mm -hmm. It's also his neighborhood. I have to say, out of all the gentleman folders, this might be the best. I mean, a very thin in profile, but opens nicely. I, I see, you know, it's more fancy, snazzy than anything else. So, mm, there yeah. it is again. I know. Does it knock out the malware or the BRS fragment out of your top spot? Don't, don't be stupid. No, no, no. I mean, don't. don't. You know what? You're not even going to ask that because no. She even knows it would not knock that out of the top. Mm. Those out of the top. It's just not happening. She eats CRKT CEOs. For breakfast. Yeah. Yes. The CEO liner lock <laughs> could be yours from landknife.com for only, wait for it, $39.99. Yeah. I mean, if it had a D2 steel blade, we would have put this in the last video. But alas. Our next knife, however does have a D2 steel blade, and that is the Best Tech Fanga. One of the larger folders we've done, I can't even remember what number episode this was. All I, I know, know is that it was inspired by an animal, like I think like a uh, saber-toothed tiger. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, let's just do a couple of quick specs here. Do it. Uh, this carry is almost nine and a half inches overall with a four inch satin finish D2 steel blade. The handle, depending on which one you want, is either, okay, it's going to take me a, just a minute, black and gray carbon fiber and G10, black and blue carbon fiber and G10, black G10 and black carbon fiber, or just plain black or green G10. Holy smokes, Batman. Oh, thank you. That was a mouthful. Yeah, don't ask me to repeat it because I probably won't be able to. Aha, a great carry to have on the list. I mean, the black G10 here. Look at it. I think this is a titanium pocket clip. You know what? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure yet. I think we're going to do an episode where is. we do like knife of the year. Just name the best one. I know Joel has some in mind. And I would normally pick something in these price ranges over here. But this Fanga is really tempting me to vote for it. But you know what? We won't want to give it away. Oh, you know, so. let them vote too. Maybe you guys tell us what you think should be the best knife of the year. I you know? mean, Oh, you know what? That's an excellent idea. Uh -huh. I think you should do that. Tell us your best knife of the year. For 2019. You can do fixed blade. Yep. Folding. Folder. Any type of lock type, lock back, slip joint, mm -hmm. flipper. Because I'm actually really thinking about getting some acrylic AKs and, and sending them it's to... It's the Dundies. Uh, yeah. Just like that. Except not... Okay. I had to ask the boss man, but I'm pretty sure I can do it. Um, All right. So, yeah. So, wait a minute. We don't need anything else. Just uh, we'll flip the price up there on this sucker. It is... Uh, For only 80 to 102 depending on the materials, on AlantiKnife.com. You can proudly rein in oh. your own fanga. <laughs> it had some teeth behind it. Good job. <laughs> 
Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah, no problem. That was nice. Good job. You saw what I did. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I gotta repeat it word for word for you, don't I? Yes. yes Unfortunately, you do. we've reached the last knife. The last knife. Which will oh, not be oh, knife oh, of wow. the year. The oh, Civivi oh. McKenna. I don't like front flippers. Oh my gosh! You know what? You didn't put the artists in the. I didn't put the Archeo, Archeo in on here. there. Yeah. Well, look. Oh, sorry. Let me tell you about this knife. I'll tell you. We'll a little do bit the quick artisan Archeo. We don't have to do all the specs and stuff. We'll go from this. It's got a D2 steel blade. This one does. Black and white. Now these come in. I can't tell you how many varieties. The flipper, large gimps. eight and a half nine inch one. Yeah. Wow! It is impressive. The blade looks like it's so much bigger than well, the handle. We got the small one here, right? I know we do. Okay. Yep. And I think this one's like 40 bucks. It's not a lot at all. Okay. Um, it has the uh, pivot cap rings, which you like yes. a whole lot. I it's like in the those. black and it's white Macarta style. And jumping on the top. I think it has some plain Macarta, and I think there might be a G10 mm -hmm. Stainless steel pocket clip. Mm -hmm. Deep carry. It's reversible. See-through chassis. Liner lock. Mm -hmm. Do I need to keep going or say no, more? We like the choil on it too. Yes. All right. Very good. Okay, and that brings us to the actual last knife. On it table. is. Here it comes. The actual one. It is the Civivi McKenna. Did we do the? Yeah, we did the performance. Okay. We're giveaways. We want to do the giveaways. I think we already did this. Okay, we go ahead. It's time. No. We did. There you go. It's fine. So we also have giveaways on the YouTube. On the YouTube. The Steel Wheel Modus, share, like, subscribe, comment on the 48th, Are you watching the YouTube? The 48th, 49th, and 50th, which is this one. Uh, we'll announce the winners in next week since we technically aren't here right now. Yeah, we're not here. So, and then we're also doing the Artisan Proponent. Can I use the saying, we are whacking the donkey with painted ladies? Tofuti. Tofuti Klaiaiaia. No, because we're not. Okay. You could be, but I'm not there with you. At all all. Right. Well, and we're also doing the artist proponent on our Lant Knife blog trivia question. I'm going to get Joel to wear mouse ears and get a photo of it on this trip, so don't no. worry. Here we go. Let's give McKenna. Let's do the McKenna real quick. Her due. Okay. All right. There's different versions of this one, of mm -hmm. course. Black, green, tan, G10. G10 yep. uh, the one with Damascus steel yeah, I think that is one's another out one. Of stock right now. Is but, it? All yeah. right. They're six and three quarter inch overall. They have a three inch D2 blade, mm -hmm. flat grind, 59 to 60 on the HRC. They have the triangle, mm -hmm. which Jewel likes a whole That's lot. That's nice. You yeah. tell we're doing this from memory. First of a pocket clip, no see-through chassis because it has a, uh, a back full space. back spacer. Yeah. Stainless steel pivot cap, screws, liner, and ball bearing. Mm -hmm. Finally, this liner lock, liner lock was designed by the one and the only. You know him like we do. Nobody puts baby in the corner, Isham. <laughs> Elijah Isham. I hope he never hears that. <laughs> Not to be confused with Elijah Pitts, another famous football star. If you've watched the past videos, you'll get it. I think I'm going to use that nobody puts baby in the corner, Isham. <clears throat> like all good things, oh this gosh. video and our vacation must come to an end. Luckily for you guys, okay. the knife entertainment doesn't have to. What? Yeah, no joke. Slide Just like, nonchalant. share, and subscribe oh, to our share. channel. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that way you will always have access to our videos, your videos, and our content. Your content. <laughs> Don't forget we're also on social media outlets like Facebook, Pinterest, and Reddit, and YouTube and Instagram. <laughs> I'm controlling it now, buddy. All right. Check you us out what? on there That's for exactly the latest. That's exactly what she says. Check us out on there for the latest knife picks and giveaway info. Giveaways. With that, I'm C, and this is Jewel for Atlanta Knife. I told you, New Year's resolution. I'm trying something new. Check. You mean taking my sign? Your you sign. You took a whole year to come up with take my sign? No, I came up with a oh whole year to gosh. do that. What will she come up with next year? Tune in. Just Joel. And we are signing off. I hate you. I know.